Hi, this is Hito from Samurai Tavern. In this channel, we will share scientific knowledge of samurai culture and exciting facts related to traditional Japanese practice. We are aiming to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. In the previous video, I used nails and screws to hit the steel bars with or without the treatment of yakire to test how the yakire process, which produces a hamon on Japanese swords, changes the hardness of the steel. That was a brief experiment, but we could see the amazing difference in the hardness of the two steel bars. However, we could still see the scratch on the steel bar with yakire. This may be due to my bad skill of yakire. So this time I'm going to try a simple idea to make the steel harder than the last time. The experiments lead to an important lesson for the Japanese source making. Yakire is a process that immediately cool down the steel after it is heated up. During this process, in the atomic level, the iron crystal changes its structure like this. If the change is fast enough, the carbon atoms don't have time to move from the initial position. This results in the distortion of crystal, and that makes the steel very hard. But of course, not all parts of the steel are turned into this form. And I think if I can cool down the steel lightning fast, the possibility of constructing the distorted crystal increase. To cool down the steel bar faster than the usual, I'm gonna use this ICs. I'm gonna pour water here and use it for yakire. This time I prepared three souls like shaped steel bars. The materials are same as the one we used before, which contains 0.85% of carbon in iron. I will regard them as a material used for Japanese sores and treat with three different processes. First, heat up and cool down slowly on the brick. Second, heat up and cool down immediately in the water. Third, heat up and cool down lightning quick in the water with a lot of ice. Now I'm going to polish them. As I did before, I prepared three items with different hardness. First one is a nail made of iron. Second one is made of stainless steel with high carbon content. Third one is made of stainless steel with high carbon content and treated by the hardening process, which is super hard and hardest type of screw that you can see in your daily life. First, I will try to use this iron nail. Actually, I already know the result from the experiment before. The iron nail is too soft compared with the steel because of the carbon content. I just try one by one for the purpose of rediscovering how hard the steel is to compare with the iron nail. I'm gonna fix the steel bar. I'm 
I'm gonna hit lightly first. The tip of the nail is completely flat. Of course the steel bar has no damage, even if it is not treated by the hardening process. Let's hit harder until the nail is bent. Yeah, just a little scratch on the surface, but the nails are bent like this. Just a very tiny scratch. It looks like the surface is just polished. Next, the steel bar with yakire in the water. I'll hit lightly. As usual, I couldn't see any deep scratches. Literally, no damage. I will hit harder. This is no problem. I just can't see where I hit, but I don't think it's scratch. And the nail is like this. Finally, this is the one with yakire in ice water. This must be so hard. It's time to see the power of the distorted crystal. I will hit lightly first. Yeah. No damage. It is natural that this has no damage because this is supposed to be harder than the other steel bars. Okay, let's hit harder. What? What? The iron nail looks still fine and straight compared with others. Although the point is almost flat, but it's still straight. The steel bar got broken. I'm gonna try one more just in case. Oh, they got broken again. Uh, this was like this. The steel bar got broken. This is not because the starting material of the steel bar has accidentally defect. It is because of the process added to the bar. If the material is too hard due to the consisting of mostly distorted iron carbon crystal, it means also brittle. You can imagine the glass cup. Glass is a very hard material, so that they're around 600 HP in Vickers hardness test where the normal steel is around 250 HP. So the glass is much harder than the normal steel. But once you drop the glass cup on the floor, it will easily break. The same thing happened to the steel bar. It is depends on what crystal structure they have, but generally the steel breaks easily. But this is amazing, isn't it? The heated up steel is around 800 degrees Celsius and it is cooled down to 20 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Celsius. This doesn't look that much different, but only this slight change make the big difference. If the bad skilled swordsmith made a Japanese sword and a samurai bought it and brought it to the battlefield, they might be killed because sword broke. I'm sure I don't want to bring the glass sword to the fight. To refrain from making a brittle sword, what do you think the swordsmith did? I will explain some of the idea which is invented in the old time this time. Thanks for watching. We are very happy if you have more fun with Japanese cultures. Please subscribe to our channel and see you next time.